Hi everyone, it's Robin. I'm here with Evil Client and we are going to do a beautiful um, design for beginners. I've just started the tutorial with a, a dark blue polish and I'm going over with a little bit of foil glue adhesive. This is what it looks like and you get it on eBay or just look for foil glue adhesive on Amazon or on eBay and you can find it. I'll be working with the wand. Ah, the wand. RobinMosesNailArt.com and that's my liner brush and I might even use the unicorn and that is at RobinMosesNailArt.com so the unicorn is a striping brush and if you guys don't know striping brushes are very very difficult to find and especially ones that are um, real they move fluidly usually they're real boingy and they don't make good stripes so I created these and I will talk more about it if I use it. Until then, I'll meet you back. Okay, so now I have foil. I'm going to back out so you guys can see this a little bit better. But foil comes in a million different ways. Um, go online and look for foil packs and just get one and practice with it with the foil glue. Get the cheapest one. If you find that this uh, doesn't come off the back, see I, I already did a nail with it and it comes off. But if you find that it doesn't come off easily, then take a little bit of acetone with a sponge like this and wipe off the back. And it will leave a thinner veil of foil and it will come off more easily. There are some foils that are less quality than others and you can never know which ones are bad quality and which ones are good quality. You also can use a pair of uh, scissors if you're if you're using gel, um, you can use a pair of scissors and cut the foil into little triangles and then put it onto the gel and top coat without sticking the foil on. But sticking the foil on and having a good foil is really fun. And it is something that I have done for forever. And I love it and I never get bored of it. So I take it and I go, the foil glue is dried. I put it all over the nail. It dries clear. You can get it all over like that, pull it off, and then it comes off. You can do it on all of the nails, on one of the nails, on just the tips of the nails for a French manicure. It never gets old, and I really love this. Now, the problem with foil. The problem with foil is that sometimes, most of the time, mostly always, unless you're using gel, when you put the top coat on, it crinkles and it changes the look. So this is not gonna look exactly like this when I put the top coat on. It, it just simply cannot. And there are things you can do to um, stop it a little bit. You can take the foil glue adhesive and go over it again, let it dry, do your art, top coat, and there's a little less uh, of the cracking. And then there's another uh, there's other stuff you can buy to help with that, but that is when you get into being like into foil for every design. And if you are interested in foil for every design, please leave a comment because I don't know what you guys want to see. And so like I'm just doing what I love right now and putting it out in the world. This will be in the hot nail playlist and or the beginner nail playlist, I'm not sure. but. Um, there it's just beautiful it's a very cool design just as is anyways um the the horrible thing is that i wish that we could keep nails like this all the time and just leave it and have them be as gorgeous however chemical reactions and nails that's just what they are that's just what happens okay so i'm gonna finish this and i'll meet you back okay so now that we've made this all shiny and gorgeous I'm gonna cover it with a matte top coat. <laughs> ah! Okay, and this is why. Because look at that. It turns into the most coolest look. And and um, that, I'm gonna try and get a really good photo when I'm all done. But um, when I dry it matte, it almost punches it into a neon, and then it kind of cracks it and it makes a cracked neon. And I can't describe the look for you with this camera, but on to the next step. 
Okay, so now I have my acrylic paints out. I'm going to use white acrylic paint and I am going to thin it down very, very thin. Because I've, uh, I'm working on a mat, it's not gonna, it, it's not gonna pool up as much. So, if you find that you're using a, a, a polish and then when you, when you um, try to paint it, it bubbles up or beads up, try putting a mat over the top of it and trying it again because the mat allows it to, to stick way easier. So I'm gonna go in with the thinnest of white like this and I'm gonna make the leaves of the floral. Now this was this this was kind of like um, a what would you call that request, but not really. They wanted this other one that I was doing, and I think that this will be really cute. So, and it also teaches you how to use really thin paint. So it's going to go like that. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone for now. All right. So, now I have the white laid down. I'm gonna go in with thicker white at the tip of my brush, and I'm gonna push and pull up as I go towards the center of the flower. Now, every place that this is whitest is going to be brightest when I start adding color. Now you can be as fancy or as not fancy as you want to with this. Um, I like just a few here and there, just to, just to brighten it up. You'll see, but I kind of I kind of follow it in a pattern. So so I look at the whole thing as a whole. Let me zoom back so you guys can see the method here. Okay, so see how this one goes this way. Then I start moving this way. And so I'll see that after I'm done with the design that I needed to add one. So I'll add one this way, just to move it in a direction. You want your eye to move with the, with the design. This one's in the center, so you can do whatever you want, kind of just play with that. Here and there and everywhere, like that. And then this one, of course, it's gonna go that way. So I'm gonna push up, push, and pull up, 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 and it will be, see how it almost, it's almost the opposite of this one, just to move the direction so it looks hand painted. You don't want every one of them to be the same, bang, 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 then it doesn't, it doesn't pop the same, and, and you'll see what I mean, and every place that you have the whitest of whites is where it's going to be the brightest of brights, so I'm going to go in and put white, white, white down in the centers of these. Let me zoom in. Okay. And you can do this however you want to. Um, the, the ways that you do this is, are endless. I'm just gonna tag some white into the center so it's like it pops out. And you say, well, why don't we just paint it just white from the beginning? The reason I don't is because, again, it looks hand painted when I'm finished. It doesn't look that perfect look because after you've spent an hour or more painting a nail, you don't want people to say, oh, is that a stamp? What is that? Is that a stamp? No, you want to, you, they'll say, oh, that's just beautiful. And is that, is that hand painted? That is right, evil client. Mm -hmm. That's what you get all the time, right? Yep. Okay, so I just want to make that announcement. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because from my perspective, I see it so different because my clients tell me everything. So, okay, so there's that. Here's the next level, and we're on to the next. Oh my gosh, it does work. Okay, so. Hi, Carl. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going in with yellow into the center. Now look at balls. So it's, so yeah, I'm being a little bit flamboyant today. But it's fun. So here is where the yellow goes. 
So then the orange can go into the centers of that. And again, just little patches of it. it just, you just want it to look hand painted. And then the pink. And then everywhere that the pink hits the blue, it's going to turn a purple. And what will happen is you'll get like a little rainbow effect. Now, I did this all on one nail at one time, but I'm going to do this one step at a time with each color and then I'll meet you back. Hi! <laughs> back. Okay. So now I have a dark blue. Come on, Rob. There we go. A dark blue out. I am going to go and just hash up imperfections and just kind of scatter it and make it look distressed. And it also punches out the colors and allows you to fix lines and just drag in details. Now you can go in and do as much as you want to in this step and it, ne it just never gets boring. It's so fun. This is the funnest part. And I was just looking at the time, I was like, gosh, me and evil client can spend an eternity doing nails. And, um, yeah, it's just true. Yeah, but you're actually not doing all nails the whole time. No. It's us talking. We're and... Dumb, yeah, and I stop and I made an earring. <laughs> <laughs> ah! If you guys want to see it, leave a comment. It's fun. And there. So I'm just going around like that. I'll meet you back. I'm going to put some um, gems in the center of these nails or you know, glitter or something, and then I will meet you back. Boom. Okay, and here is the end result. And let me zoom out a little. This is um, a classic floral. And it is so pretty and so dimensional. We counted the layers as seven, which is a little crazy, but it's worth it. And if you're just painting and having fun, why not try it? So if you do try it, show me, hashtag inspired by Robin Moses. If you do, get brushes, robinmosesnailart.com. Um, I will have this in the flower playlist and I will link it at the end of the video. I will also link it, link the beginner videos at the end of this video so that you can learn how to do the flowers and then start playing with this idea. But anyways, I hope you learned a lot and I'll see you back with more. Bye. Bye. Okay. I'm going to add this a little tiny bit. This looks like denim and I wanted to write, I wanted to say that in this video, but the denim quality is like really, really cool. And if you're wearing a lot of denim right now, this would look hot. And Evil Client told me that I used all Dazzle Dry products with this. So I wanna make sure that I shout out to Dazzle Dry. So can you please tell Vivian I did because I miss her immensely and I love her. Anyway, I'll see you back with more. Bye. Bye.